Hi YouTube. So I'm still here. I'm still pregnant. As a matter of fact, I am two days away from being 37 weeks pregnant. And do I have any news? Yes. Let's see. I can tell you now what kind of news I have. So I saw the gyno on Wednesday, the 18th. And apparently my blood work from prior to that day, my blood platelets went down again to 141. As I mentioned in other transplant and kidney videos, the blood platelets are what help to clog, clog up the blood fast. So let's say you have a cut. The reason why it heals so fast is due to the blood platelets. It heals fast. And it clogs up fast so to, to prevent infection and to, of course, heal faster. So when your blood platelets are low, there are difficulties with the healing process and as well as the clogging up fast. So a couple weeks ago, my blood platelets were down to 142. And then a week after that, it went back up to 167, which the normal range is between 150 and 300. So, once again, they went low again, down to 141, so I got blood done on Wednesday, but they haven't called me back, and I'm thinking the reason they haven't called me back is because it probably went back up, which is great. I want that. So, they're, they're just going to keep monitoring me weekly, which is what I've been doing. Anyway, so, I've been having weekly checkups still, and um, I see my gyno again on Friday. My last day of work is on Friday, which I'm really excited about. I make 37 weeks this week, so I'm like two weeks away from having to give birth since she wants me to give birth at 39 weeks. And the reason for that is because I might have mentioned this already in my previous videos, but she wants me to give birth at 39 weeks because she doesn't feel that I need to continue on from that point so that the function of my kidney does not decrease. We don't want to risk that. So my kidneys have been doing, I mean, my kidney transplant has been doing fantastic. The creatinine has stayed at like 0 0.8. So no complaints there. Um, aside from the blood platelets, everything else is fine. My blood pressure is still very low because uh, I've suffered from hypotension, which is low blood pressure, since I got the second transplant, since I got this kidney. So... It's still been low. Usually with pregnant women, the blood pressure can increase, and a lot of things can increase, causing problems. First of all, I do not have gestational diabetes, thank the Lord, you know. Nobody wants to go through that. Second of all, my blood pressure is still very low. I mean, yeah, having very low blood pressure is not safe either, but at least it's not affecting my heart and, you know, when you have high blood pressure and all that. So... That's the situation going on now. I've gained roughly 30 pounds. So I'm actually at the goal. You know, she wants me to gain between 25 and 35, and I've gained 30 so far. Well, in their eyes, I've gained like 27. But I feel like my weight was a little, like 3 pounds less. But anyway, between 27 and 30 pounds I've gained. And that's good. And the reason why I haven't been gaining much, as a matter of fact, the last two weeks, I've gained like a pound and a half. The last two weeks, so that's good. And it's because I, I'm still working out. I'm not eating really, really bad. Even though with my first trimester, I was still eating extremely healthy. And I was eating small meals still and watching what I eat. During the second trimester, I kind of just started eating a little more. And started going semi with my cravings and semi not. During this trimester... I don't really have cravings. If anything, my boyfriend is the one with the cravings. Uh, sometimes I can go for something sweet or something salty. It depends. That's really how far my cravings go. Nothing crazy, nothing insane. I still eat fairly healthy. I cook at home. I've been making this delicious spinach dip. Um, I just, I love healthy things, so it's not like I'm doing bad. And I eat gogurts. She, my gyno recommended I stick with eating yogurt so I don't get a yeast infection since that's you know that's a risk with a with anybody but 
being a transplant patient with a weakened immune immune system, you know, that can happen. Um, that's pretty much it. Yesterday I took maternity photos, even though I did do it with JC Penny. Um, as you guys may know, I work at a daycare and one of the parents is a professional photographer and he is fantastic. So yesterday we did maternity photos with him and it was so fun. So fun. And I love his daughter. I had his daughter last year in my class. So his daughter is just amazing. And uh, the reason why my last, this is my last week is because the, all the, all the daycare kids graduate and move up a level. So it's going to be really nice to see them graduate. On Friday is the graduation, which is the 27th. And I feel like I should make that my last day so I can start focusing on a few other things. We've set up a lot. We, we built my baby's armoire, her dresser, her crib. We got a car seat. We have everything we could possibly need. I have my, my bag ready for the hospital. Um, I had a pelvic exam done on Wednesday because I had a minor leakage like two days prior. But it was nothing. It's not any kind of amniotic fluid, I guess. So I'm okay. I've been having minor pains. As a matter of fact, yesterday was my first kind of intense pelvic pain. Or I guess what you would call Braxton Hicks. I don't know. So it was like, it was painful for like a good five minutes. And then I went away and it hasn't returned. So I'm good. Sometimes I have like very minor cramps. I don't really have back pain, and I think it's due to me working out. So it's it's really tough to determine what's going on with me because I I feel like I take pretty good care of myself. I bought a a waist trimmer by Ace. You guys can buy it. I've heard really good reviews from a lot of pregnant women about that. Instead of buying postpartum a postpartum band, you could just buy any kind of waist trimmer, and after you give birth, you can just start wearing that. Well, I mean, ask your doctor if you could wear it right away, but you could start wearing the waist trimmer right away so that um, your stomach won't hang out and be flabby. Like, you can actually tighten it with the, with the waist trimmer. And as you may already know, after you give birth, your uterus is still going to be at least two pounds heavy. So you're still going to have a bump for a couple of weeks. But since I plan on breastfeeding, the with the breastfeeding the uterus contracts it keeps contracting so it actually shrinks a lot faster than it would if you're not if you're not breastfeeding so i have my waist trimmer i have my nipple cream because they say if you're going to breastfeed get prepared to put those things because the cream will help ease the pain the the the, the cream will help prevent the chapping of the nipples so we don't want that i have pajamas I have um, newborn clothes for when she leaves the hospital. I have uh, I have her socks. I have mittens. I have a blanket so when we take her out in the car seat. <sighs> Sanitary pads are very important to have because I mean whether or not it's going to be a vaginal birth or a C-section. I mean nobody ever knows what's going to happen. But just have those sanitary pads ready because if it's a vaginal birth. You're going to need that for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I've done plenty of research, so I know what's going on. Anyway, so uh, I'll talk to you guys again in a week. I'm feeling pretty great, pretty fantastic. I'm about, I'm about to work out now. So you guys stay safe. God bless. If you guys have any questions, I'll try my best to answer. You know, I hope these videos have been very successful for a lot of other people. Because, I mean, I'm not the only female transplant recipient out there who was interested in getting pregnant and going through the high-risk pregnancy. So I really hope this can be useful for other women out there who are going through the same thing I am. But honestly, for me, it's been an easy pregnancy. It's all about taking care of yourself. And prior to being pregnant, I was a workout buff. <laughs> so this is kind of something that's been a blessing for me and I thank God every day for being very very healthy for someone who's not exactly healthy healthy you know so once again God bless you all thank you for watching my videos I'll see you again very soon hopefully in a week I can post something if 
If I take long, I might have had my baby already. But I'll even post after and show you what's going on. All right? So, mwah. Love you guys.